How's it going guys? Welcome back to another episode. Firstly, I'd like to apologise for not having produced any films in the last two weeks. My computer had a heart attack. Um, I was editing the test video, which was my last video that I did, and it just completely conked out. Uh, deleted the timeline, um, just couldn't handle um, the amount of film um, that was being processed at the time, and that's because it's an old computer. So I'm waiting to get an upgrade, and when that happens, I'll be back at it. I have been fishing um, quite a lot, and I've got loads of footage in stock um, on my hard drive, ready to be edited and, and, and sent out to you guys. The title of this video is going to be The Only Nymph You'll Ever Need, uh, purely because I have fished this nymph pretty much my, the whole season, and I have caught all my trout um, under the surface on this fly. I've had pike on it, I've had sea trout on it, I've had all my trout on it, this really is a nymph, which I think you, will, you won't ever need to use another nymph. I know it's probably quite wrong of me to say that because it is good to have a bit of an arsenal in your fly box, but this is what I've been using. I haven't been using any other nymph, this one. So I'm going to show you how to do that. Um, it is a secret tie, so you guys are getting some, some exclusive content, but I want you guys to, um, to be able to catch fish uh, more effectively, and this fly just seems to do that. So we'll get straight into the tying tutorial. Um, all of the products that I use will be listed below, um, but I'll let you know as we sort of go along with this. Let's do it. All right, folks. So first thing you'll need is hook. I use jig hooks, which is, um, they basically help the fly swim with the hook face pointing up um, so that you can fish the bottom. You can dredge it more effectively without snagging. That's not to say that it doesn't snag though. Um, don't quote me on that. I'm using a size 14 style jig. Um, like I said, I'll leave all the description, um, all of the links to the products in the description below. Um, so yeah, 14 size uh, jig style hooks. You'll need uh, three millimeter tungsten uh, beads. I use copper just because I find it's more of a natural color. And you'll need some purple, pink, um, holographic tinsel. Um, that'll be for the body. The thread I use is a 6 aught um, uni thread in black on a bobbin and I use a little bit of dubbing, I use hair's ear dub in purple, um, this is actually called claret, um, so that one there with, this got a little bit of uh, flashy stuff in it um, which seems to work well on the fly. Uh, UV resin, UV torch and that's about it, let's get started. Okay guys, so I've just put the uh, bead onto the hook and I'm going to grab my thread and start from the bead and make touching wraps like so. When I get to about halfway or in line with the end of the hook shank, I cut it and take the thread all the way to the back of the hook where it starts to bend which is where you're going to attach the tail. Now I'm using pheasant tail, if I can find it. Sorry, we've got a German Shepherd that usually comes and <laughs> helps himself to my, uh, my fly tying material. <laughs> so you want three, so, but three strands, I'm going to call them. Like so. You might not be able to see that. But yeah, I've got three there, and you just lay it on top. Now it's a really important that you don't make these too long. Um, so what I like to do is just pinch them, grab the thread and just make one turn just to get it into place and then pull it to where I need it and that looks to me about right. Then you just want to take this all the way back to the front. When you get to the top you want to snip off the excess, lay that down and then work your way back evenly to I would say two thirds of the way to where the tail is and this is where you're going to add the tinsel. Now I'm sure there's other ways around this but this is just what I do and it seems to work really well. I grab one strand of the pink tinsel as you can see here and you then gently want to just attach it so alongside make one touching turn and cover it go back up towards the bead of the of the fly covering the purple um, or anything showing underneath it 
once you get to the front of the fly, you want to start building up the body to so make it a bit of a taper. So at this end, towards the, sorry, towards the bead, you want it to be a bit thicker, the body of the, of the actual fly itself. So I like to just do a few turns. There isn't, exact science, there isn't an exact science to this. And once you're happy with it, which I'm not quite yet, you then just want to leave it. Now you want to grab the uh, tinsel that you tied on and you want to make tight turns not leaving any gaps working your way towards the front of the fly okay guys once you've done that you want to just lock it into place so pull it underneath the thread and over and then do a couple of turns over the top you can do it one more time if you'd like to and then you can snip off the excess tinsel that you have left now you're probably going to be a lot more organized than I am but make sure you've got sharp scissors because it does help and this is the point where you want to add some resin some UV resin um, I'm just using some Olax um, thick you can use thick or thin it's completely up to you um, and you want to apply it to the body just to build up a sort of a glossy clear uh, body, it's just like a, you know, like a normal nymph, an actual nymph would have. Um, I use a bobbin um, to, to apply it, you can use a little brush if you've got that. You only need a little bit, um, and start off with less, and you can always, always apply more. A blob like I have. I attach it to the bead side of the fly first, and then make your way back. Again, keeping consistent with doing a sort of a gradient towards the front of the fly. Um, apply a little bit to uh, both sides because you want it to have that sort of glossy feel. Um, almost like a little bubble cocoon around the, the colour. It makes it pop, especially when it's in water and it um, reacts off of the, the sun. And you can then apply your UV torch. So give it a few blasts with that. Okay folks, when that's done, you can then apply the hair's ear dub. And like I said, I'm using the purple, um, and it's got this sort of shiny, tinsely stuff. I'm not sure if that, the camera will pick it up. Um, I do apologize for the lighting. Um, and you just wanna apply a little bit. Less is always better, because um, you can always apply more if you feel you need to. Um, and then twist it on, like you would do with any dub and then make your turns and you want to do it right at the head of the fly like I've done I forgot to mention the CDC uh, I am using Cool de Canard um, natural, I've got two grams here it's from Kindle Flies I'll attach the link as well um, in the description down below and you want to get some medium size uh, CDC, now this step is really really important because this is what makes the fly and I will take some videos of what the fly looks like um, once it's wet. Now I don't have a CDC clip but what I did was I went onto Amazon um, I know the link is in the Mayfly tutorial that I did um, and bought some clips I will show you what those look like so just some clips like that you need them to have a flat edge uh, for this to work simply attach your CDC to your clip. I'm going to make two layers, so I've got two different plumes of CDC, putting them on top of each other, just to make a little bit of a thicker overall CDC feel to the fly. Alright, once you've done that, you want to attach it, so the best way to do this is literally just to slide it over the top, like I've done, and then you want to cut along the edge of the main stem. And what you should be left with are the feathers looking like that. Now the next step is a little bit fiddly, um, but you want to take a pair of scissors or a bobbin and split the thread. Take your time with this. Um, you need to get it equal, so try and split it right down the middle. So like I have done there. Once you split it, <clears throat> you 
you want to grab your CDC clip and attach it on top and then as it slides off you then want to release the clip twist to lock the feathers into place on the thread and keep twisting until you get an even spread on them and then as you twist you want to pull back the CDC towards the back end of the fly keep doing this until you've got your way all around it now you can either do a whip finish and then apply the, the glue or the UV sorry um, but I tend to put the, UV, the resin on first and then um, zap it it just comes off as a little bit of a cleaner uh, finish and so I apply the resin to right at the base of the thread where I know it'll be attaching onto the head of the fly and you just want a little bit like that I probably put a bit too much on there um, I don't use a wet finish tool I just do it with my fingers um, so you'll have to look that one up if you don't know how to do it but I do three to four put my finger on top pull it through tight and Bob's your uncle you've now got one of the most productive flies I've ever used in my life. Hit it with the UV light. There you have it, there's the fly guys. I'm gonna get a better picture for you guys so you can see exactly what the detail is. Um, but that's the basics, you can play around with the style, um, the different color CDC. I just use natural as you can see. I think the purple is what really uh, does this, this fly justice. I, for some reason, trout absolutely love it. All right then guys, so, I've shown you how to make this fly. Um, like I said, it works on all the fish um, that you've seen in my videos. I've caught them, um, if they were under the water, I've caught them on this nymph. Let me know if you guys uh, tie it and how you get on with it. And let me know if you catch any fish with it, obviously. Um, guys, loads of things coming up. I've got merchandise coming out soon. So I've got hats um, with the Castaway Crew logo, which I will be selling as well as doing giveaways. Um, so for subscriber numbers, for follows um, on the IG page. Everything will be linked um, in the description below, so all the materials that I use. I've got fishing tomorrow coming up on the Avon. I'm fishing the Salterton Beat, um, which should be pretty cool. Everything that I do will be posted on the social media site, so on the Instagram page, my personal page, and on the channel. Um, I will be trying to punch out some videos. It just depends on my laptop capability and whether it can handle it. Guys, like, comment, subscribe. You know the drill. Share the videos. Let me know how it goes. Let's do it. Pshh.